Congresswoman Lauren Boebert is in a lot of trouble. Even the Rupert Murdoch-owned Wall Street Journal says so. Let's discuss. I'm Dave Ehrenberg, state attorney for Palm Beach County, a.k.a. the Florida lawman here on the Midas Touch Network. You may recall that Lauren Boebert is the most endangered sitting congressperson in all of Congress. In her last election, just two years ago, she only won by 546 votes, which was the smallest margin of any member of Congress. And her opponent from last time, Adam Frisch, a Democrat, was running against her again, and she decided to tuck her tail and get out of town. You know what they say when the going gets rough? Mm, find another district. Because that's what she did. She moved districts to a different part of the state so that she can run. She's running in a more conservative, redder district than before. And you may think, well, that's probably a good political move for her. But no, because when you do that, you become a carpetbagger. You become an interloper. You become someone new to the constituents you want to represent. And they're thinking, hey, we have never seen you before in person. You've never cared about us until now, until you want to save your hide by staying in Congress. Why should we vote for you? And of course, her response is she's the most MAGA pro-Trump Republican. Maybe so, but she's also an embarrassment. Even to some of the voters there, she's an embarrassment. As the article in the Rupert Murdoch-owned Wall Street Journal details, the article says, her fame could help in a crowded race, but it has become as much of a curse as a blessing as she deals with fallout from scandals, including her removal from a Denver theater back in September. The reception from grassroots Republican groups has been chilly. The field includes strong local candidates, several with long statewide political experience and regional backing. Chris Ware, a retired medical contractor, left the event impressed with a few of the candidates, but not Boebert. I will not vote for her, period. She is not one of us, Ware said. Hence, the carpetbagger. Here's from another voter on Facebook. She's not been well received by Republicans. GOP voter Tammy Fleming said, it's the shenanigans and the drama and moving districts. Ah, uh, yes, the drama. Even Republicans in heavily red districts don't always love drama. Of course, if that were the case, Perhaps they wouldn't be supporting Donald Trump to begin with. And the best comment of all of them comes from a woman named Judy Schofield, a retired university employee who said she was looking for a strong conservative. She says, quote, I don't appreciate as a Christian people saying they're Christian to get your vote and then turning out to be a lowlife. And now I just kind of think of her as a lowlife because Lauren Boebert, Miss QAnon, uh, Miss Impeach Everyone, last name Biden, Miss Movie Theater. This is someone who should not be in Congress anymore. And the fact that she was being out fundraised by her Democratic opponent in a reddish district tells you all you need to know. That's why she decided to bail. And she is bailing to a different part of the state. As this map will show, she is leaving for the entire other side of the state, going from a western a Colorado district to an eastern Colorado district. Now, here's another way to look at it, a different map that shows you that she's going from a red dish district to a red district, a very red district, currently occupied by Congressman Ken Buck, but Congressman Buck doesn't want any more of Congress. He's had enough of uh, these MAGA folks, and so he is leaving, and now it's an open seat, and there are a lot of candidates running and candidates with deep ties to the area. Just because Lauren Boebert is the top fundraiser in the race, because after all, when you are an extremist, you have that energy to raise all this money, low dollar amounts from people all across the country who think of you as a hero because you stand up for their leader, dear leader, Donald Trump. But money doesn't always translate into votes. She was getting out fundraised by her Democratic opponent. And now, even though she has the most money in her new race, she's being hammered by all sides on this one as someone who has no interest in the people of the district, is just there just to stay in Congress. Wow, so much for being the outsider, right? And we cannot talk about Lauren Boebert without talking about the infamous scene in the theater. Yeah, the theater where she went to see Beetlejuice, the musical, and got so caught up in the music, she was singing along, bothering the people around her, where people were asking her, the neighbor behind her was asking her, please quiet down, of course, she didn't listen. She was vaping inside the theater. And that was the least of her problems. She was doing other things, things that we really shouldn't mention in a PG video here for Midas Touch. But 
Uh, something that we all know that this is now what she's being identified with. She is someone who acts inappropriately in Congress and acts inappropriately in a theater. Her date, by the way, was a Democrat, a guy from Aspen, who now she blames for uh, the whole situation, saying she's not going to date any more Democrats, as if he was the instigator here. And then, of course, just to top it all off, the gratuitous middle finger to the uh, people at the movie theater. That's your member of Congress, Colorado. And now they have a chance to undo the mistake by defeating her in November. And she's not going to have an easy time. And now she's got Rupert Murdoch's Wall Street Journal profiling her and not in a positive way. Take it from me. I've served eight years in the Florida State Senate. And now I'm in my 12th year as state attorney. And when you run for office, even if you are the most extreme in a primary where it's a winner-take-all and it's a low-turnout primary that will be on the Republican side. Still, if you're a carpetbagger, if you just move to town, you're not going to have much of a chance. And I know Lauren Boebert has a national name, but her name stands for as much embarrassment as anything else. And even for Republicans, as this article shows, many of them have had enough. And I know the rest of us feel the same way. In this same Wall Street Journal article, it says that several Republicans said they liked Boebert when she was first elected in Western Colorado or liked her political alignment overall, but had grown weary of the turmoil associated with her and resented having it brought to their part of the state. The theater incident, which involved video footage of Boebert's being removed from a production of Beetlejuice after vaping and groping her date in the theater, was the final straw, some said. So there you have it. I don't need to mention the groping myself when... Rupert Murdoch's newspaper is going to do it for me. So yes, Lauren Boebert, who was acting inappropriately in Beetlejuice, who couldn't even uh, be polite to the person behind her who was asking her to stop vaping, to stop uh, videotaping, to stop singing along. She did everything improper in that theater, and in the end, she blamed everyone else but herself. Until finally, after enough pushback, she finally apologized and blamed it on her divorce and saying that she would never vote for or never date a Democrat again. By the way, shame on that Democrat. What were you thinking? I mean, really, if you ever see Lauren Boebert's name on your Tinder uh, account, swipe left, okay? Even if it's not Tinder, whatever you're using, swipe left. Not a good idea to, to date Lauren Boebert. So we'll see what happens in November, but as of right now, it looks like Lauren Boebert is on her way out of Congress and for a institution that already has very low approval ratings, uh, getting rid of Lauren Boebert is addition by subtraction. So there you have it. I'm Dave Ehrenberg, State Attorney for Palm Beach County, aka the Florida Lawman. In a world of Florida men, be a Florida lawman. All right, that came from Brett Mizellis. Thank you, Brett, for that great tagline. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.